What's going on guys, it's your boy Shy Guy Gaming, and today we're back with another video on how to get your very own Drake Sword in Dark Souls Remastered. Now this is the new Drake Sword, or at least uh, the new updated version of what it looks like. It's uh, a lot shinier, and it looks a lot better and more attention to detail, and obviously than the first original Drake Sword. And uh, I'm pretty sure most of you know how to get it, especially if uh, you've played the original Dark Souls. But for those of you who are new and uh, new to the remastered version, it's basically the same method. Uh, they wouldn't have changed anything about it, but it comes with the um, base power of physical 200 attack damage. And it's actually one of the most OP weapons in the game, especially for starting out. Uh, it has a lot of attack damage uh, compared to your most original weapons, especially after you scale them up. But the best part about the Drake Sword is that you can actually upgrade these with uh, dragon scales. And there's not that very many weapons in the game that uh, run off of dragon scales. And, uh, you know, I just dump all my dragon scales into this one. But you're going to come over here to this merchant. And this merchant uh, is going to sell you a uh, short bow and arrows, which you're going to need. Uh, you know, just buy the basic short bow. It's only a 1,000 souls. And then uh, buy at least, I'd say, maybe 50 to 60 standard arrows. Um, that's how much about I use, depending on how much you miss. But uh, it's pretty simple once you get the rhythm down on how to always hit the arrows. But you're going to come all the way up here over to the Drake that's guarding the bridge. Uh, he's a pain in the ass to kill, but um, you know we're mainly here just for his tail. Just make sure you take out these two guards because they will get in your way as you're shooting arrows. Um, and you know it's a pretty simple process on how to get this sword. Um, it's just all of just the fact that of knowing where to get it and how to get it. But yeah, I got this footage sped up for you guys, so that way uh, we can just get this video moving on more accordingly. And there's actually a message here telling you uh, weakness uh, is the tale for sure. I, I love these little messages. But uh, yeah, just go ahead and pull out your short bow. And uh, you're just going to aim mainly for the edge of the tail. Um, it's pretty simple. I'd hit once, and then I always set up another arrow just to hit twice. Uh, that way we can get things moving just a lot quicker because you'll be here all day just hitting the tail once and then uh, waiting for the dragon to go back. So yeah, just go ahead and hit him twice and uh, you just mainly want to hit for more at the edge of the tail. And it's funny because the uh, edge of the tail actually looks like the sword in general if you pay uh, close attention to it. But yeah, you're just going to continue to dump arrows into his big fat tail until eventually uh, you're going to get the Drake Sword. This Drake Sword is actually very useful, especially for uh, more towards the beginning half of the game. It's funny because through my first playthrough, I had no idea about this sword until my buddy told me about it. And I didn't collect this sword uh, through my first playthrough until like the way later half of the game. So I actually missed out on the sword on my first playthrough. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a very useful sword. Has lots of damage and will help you breeze through the game, or at least a good portion of it. And like I said, this is definitely one of the most OP weapons in the game, especially like, uh, you know, just to the, the starting portion. Um, but still can make a fantastic weapon, especially if you upskill it uh, as you go, especially if you just dump all your dragon scales into it, which is what I usually do. There's a few other weapons that can take dragon scales, but this is one of the very few that you'll get. But yeah, you know, hit it until his tail completely disappears. Uh, it doesn't show that I um, am getting it here because I already have it. But um, yeah, it, once his tail is basically uh, ripped off from shooting so many arrows at it, you won't see it anymore and you'll just get the sword directly right into your inventory. And uh, yeah, guys, there's your own Drake Sword. But yeah, I hope the Drake Sword helps you guys on your journey, whether if it's your first or millionth playthrough, because it's definitely one of my favorite all-time weapons. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and feel free to subscribe for some more Dark Souls content. Also, stay tuned for some Elden Ring. In the meantime... Stay safe, guys.